Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered how Amazon seems to know exactly what you want to buy? Or how Spotify curates the perfect playlist just for you? It's not magic, it's all in the data. Today we're deep diving into two fields that make all this happen, data analytics and data science. They sound alike, but trust me, they're totally different in how they work and what they aim to achieve. If you're curious about what sets these fields apart and how they shape our world, stick around. This is going to be fun. In today's tech-driven world, data is everywhere, from your social media feed to your online shopping cart. It's all powered by data. And two key fields that help us make sense of it all are data analytics and data science. Both are about extracting value from data, but they solve different problems, use different tools, and their goals are totally distinct. Before we jump into the differences, here's a fun fact. Did you know that according to PwC, 91% of companies say that data-driven decision-making is the key to their business growth? That's huge. And that's why professionals in data analytics and data science are in such high demand. Every industry from startups to global giants relies on data to innovate, automate, and make decisions. All right, let's kick things off with data analytics. What exactly is it? Well, data analytics is all about examining historical data, what's already happened, to find patterns and trends. It helps companies make informed decisions by answering questions like what happened and why did it happen. Example, let's say a marketing team wants to understand why their latest ad campaign did not perform well. They'll dig into last year's data to figure out what worked, what didn't, and use that information to make better decisions next time. In data analytics, the goal is usually descriptive analysis as in what happened, or diagnostic analysis, why did it happen? It's super helpful for immediate decision making, which is why it's so widely used in business today. Now let's talk about data science, the cool, more advanced cousin of data analytics. While data analytics focuses on past data, data science goes much further. It deals with building predictive models that help businesses forecast future trends, and it doesn't just work with spreadsheets. It uses big data and even unstructured data like images or social media posts. Example, a perfect example of data science is Netflix recommendation system. They don't just show you movies based on what you've watched. They predict what you're most likely to enjoy next. They're not just analyzing what you watched last month. They're predicting your next binge session based on complex algorithms. In data science, the goals are more ambitious. You're looking at predictive analysis, what will happen, and prescriptive analysis. How can we make it happen? So it's a lot more about creating future solutions rather than just looking back. Fun fact. By the way, did you know that data science jobs are projected to grow by a whooping 28% in 2026? The demand is just soaring, especially in fields like AI and automation. All right, now let's get to the real meat of it. The key differences between data analytics and data science. Let's break it down side by side. Focus. In data analytics, the focus is on answering specific business-driven questions like, why did sales drop last quarter? It's very targeted. Data science, on the other hand, is more exploratory and looks at building models that predict future outcomes. It's not just about what's happening now, but what could happen in the future. Types of data. Data analytics typically works with structured data. Think of rows and columns in a database, like sales reports or customer data. Data science deals with both structured and unstructured data. And by unstructured, we mean things like images, text, from social media, and even video data. Techniques used. In data analytics, you'll find simpler techniques like trend analysis, dashboards, and data visualization. Data science? This is where things get more technical. Machine learning, deep learning, and even natural language processing, or NLP, which is all about analyzing text data like social media posts. Now let's talk tools. The tools you use depend on whether you're working in data analytics or data science. Data analytics tools. In data analytics, you'll see tools like Excel for basic reporting, SQL for curing databases, and Tableau or Power BI for creating those beautiful data visualizations. You'll also find Python and R being used for more advanced statistical analysis. Data science tools. In data science, it's a very different toolkit. You've got Python and R, but you're also working with libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch for machine learning and Hadoop or Spark for handling big data. And of course, Jupyter Notebooks is a go-to for exploratory data. So what do these roles actually look like in the workplace? 
Let's break down the responsibilities. First, let's start with data analytics. Data analytics. They're all about collecting, cleaning, and organizing data. They conduct in-depth quantitative analysis and articulate complex data patterns, generating reports that help businesses make informed decisions. Their work often focuses on answering immediate questions like what happened? For instance, consider a data analyst at a retail company analyzing sales data from the holiday season to determine which products flew off the shelves. Business intelligence analysts. They specialize in cross-departmental data, analysis, and reporting. They act as representatives for platforms like IBM or Tableau, collaborating with database specialists and BI developers. For example, imagine a BI analyst at a healthcare company who creates dashboards that visualize patient data trends across various departments, helping medical teams identify areas for improvement in patient care. Business analysts. They play a critical role in implementing and supporting business information systems. They address challenges and opportunities across departments by conducting research, analyzing data, and proposing solutions to improve processes. Picture a business analyst in a logistics firm evaluating delivery data for streamlined operations and reduced costs, helping the company achieve faster delivery times. Next, we have roles in data science. Machine learning engineer. At an e-commerce company, a machine learning engineer might develop recommendation algorithms that suggest products based on user behavior. They work with data engineers to create data pipelines and optimize the model for fast, accurate recommendations during peak shopping hours. Big Data Developer In a telecom company, a big data developer could set up and manage Hadoop clusters to analyze network traffic patterns. By deploying high-speed queries and ensuring data security, they help the company optimize network performance and reduce latency for users. Computer Vision Engineer At a manufacturing company, a computer vision engineer may design computer vision models that detect product defects on the assembly line. They help improve quality control by implementing algorithms that can spot issues in real time, reducing manual inspection time. NLP Engineer in a financial services firm, an NLP engineer might build a sentiment analysis model that processes social media and news data to gauge public sentiment on the stock market trends. This helps traders make informed decisions based on real-time sentiment indicators. Research Analyst At a consulting firm, a research analyst might analyze competitor data, market trends, and customer feedback to provide actionable insights for a client's market entry strategy. They collect and synthesize data to help clients make data-driven business decisions. Data Scientist In a healthcare company, a data scientist might develop predictive models to identify patients at a risk of chronic diseases. They analyze patient data, apply machine learning algorithms, and provide insights to improve patient outcomes and preventative care programs. AI ML Researcher At a tech company specializing in AI, an AI ML researcher could focus on advancing speech recognition technology. They prototype algorithms for voice-activated devices, working with teams globally to push the boundaries of speech processing innovation. And for those of you considering a career in these fields, here are a few quick tips to get started. Tip 1. Explore online and offline courses. Imatagus Learning offers a great beginner course with 100% job assurance in both data analytics and data science. Tip 2. Get hands-on experience. Use free data sets available on platforms like Kegel to practice your skills. Tip 3. Connect with professionals in the field. Join LinkedIn groups, attend webinars, and network. All right, data enthusiasts. That's a wrap on our exploration of data analytics versus data science. Remember, no matter which path you choose, there's a wealth of opportunities waiting for you. The world is in constant need of data-driven decisions, and you could be the one making them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share it with your friends who might be interested in data. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, the world of data is full of possibilities.